Hello, my name is Joe Sass, and today I'd like to show you how to load Google Maps onto a Mobile Mapper 6 using an internet connection that's enabled by a cell phone and a Bluetooth link. I showed you how to pair these in a Bluetooth sense, a cell phone and a Mobile Mapper 6. In a subsequent video, I showed you how to use that Bluetooth connection to put the Mobile Mapper 6 onto the internet. And this video that I'm making now really requires that you watch those two videos first. So, um, what I'm going to do is, uh, as you may know, the Mobile Mapper 6 is on a Windows mobile platform. That's a Microsoft product. And there are literally hundreds, maybe thousands of companies that write programs for the Windows mobile platform. Among those is Google, and they've created a very nice free application called Google Maps um, that can be loaded on the Mobile Mapper 6, and it has great utility. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to go to the Start button. I'm going to go to Internet Explorer. Now, I've already accomplished the Bluetooth pairing and the Internet configuration, so I shouldn't have to do anything in that regard, and I can go straight to Google Maps. So I'm going to type, go into Internet Explorer, and I'm going to type m.google.com and hit the green arrow. It says locating, opening. Opening is a good sign. Locating means, opening means that I am on the internet. My phone has enabled. I get a screen here that says download Google Map, uh, I'm sorry, download Google mobile application and that's what I'm going to do. I click on that opening. It'll say what do you want to do and we want to uh, save as. And where are we going to save it? Instead of choosing main memory, well, I'll choose main, me main memory since I don't have a memory card. If I had a memory card in the device, I'd have the option of doing that. So I'll hit save. And it's uh, saving the product now, saving the file. This is really a two-step process. The first thing you have to do is you have to install the Google toolbar, the mobile app Google toolbar. And once that's installed, then you can install the Google Map application. Okay, the file is just about done being downloaded. And it says installing Google Search Cab. A cab is an executable file that installs program typically on Windows mobile devices. And here is the terms of service. I will accept those. And it says Google search, Google search Cab was successfully installed on your device. And I'll hit the OK button. And I'll close out of here. Now, as you can see on the desktop now of the Windows, of the Mobile Mapper 6, I now have a Google toolbar. And I'm going to use this Google toolbar to install the Google Map application. And that's the second icon here uh, from the right. I'll click on that. And it takes me to Google Maps says, if the download doesn't start in a few seconds, please click here. It's obviously starting. I'm going to say save as. I'll save it to the same place, main memory, since I don't have a memory card. And it is saving the application now, Google Maps. Okay, so the file is just about being down, uh, it is downloaded now and it's installing. Depending upon your data plan, your service coverage, your service provider, the length of time that it takes to download these files could be a half a minute up to several minutes. So just be patient and make sure that you're making progress on the scroll bar. So it says Google Maps Cab was successfully installed. It's now starting the program, Google Maps. And that will be one of the programs now in my programs menu that I have the ability to open. Um, I have to accept the terms of agreement here. I have to accept uh, the little ad. It's on, uh, I think it's called the Latitude, Google Latitude. Hit OK. And now I've got a map. So if I come down here to the lower right-hand corner and I hit the menu, and I go uh, Options and GPS Settings, even though it doesn't look like it, I need to change this COM0 to COM1. 
because uh, that's where the GPS is on this device. And I need to change the port speed from 4800 to 9600, and I'll hit OK. And then I'll come up here to the menu again, and I'll say Use GPS. Up at the top, it says Seeking GPS Satellites. As soon as it gets its location, um, it will show me on the map and where I'm at. Zoom in, zoom out, typical map features. Um, it says it's loading, so it must have found where I'm at. And sure enough, it is now zoomed in to where I'm at. Let me zoom out. And it starts loading the map, and you can see where I'm at in the planet. So that's how you load up Google Maps for a mobile application on the Mobile Mapper 6 using a cell phone enabled uh, cell phone, uh, an internet enabled cell phone, and a Bluetooth link between those. Thank you.